Hello everyone, my name is Ms. A.G. I'm the Library Assistant at Ruby Young Elementary. Today I'm going to be reading to you, with permission, from Anderson Press, USA, Annie Hoot and the Knitting Extravaganza. It is written by Holly Clifton Brown. And this is a fun adventure, uh, actually, around the world, so I hope you enjoy it. Annie Hoot and the Knitting Extravaganza. Annie Hoot was a kind but scatterbrained little owl. She lived in a treehouse deep in the woods. She was always coming up with new ideas for things to do, and her latest craze was knitting. She knitted morning, noon, and night. She knitted sweaters, socks, hats, and scarves. She knitted squares and stripes and spots and stars. In fact, she knitted just about anything you could think of. Sadly, the other owls wouldn't wear the clothes that Annie knitted for them. They are too bright, they said. We don't want to look different from the other owls. Annie decided to find some animals who would want her nifty knitwear. She knitted herself a... Hot air balloon. And off she sailed. The wind blew her all the way to the rainforest. It was a bit too wet for Annie's liking, but the treetops were full of the most exquisite birds she had ever seen. Don't worry, she told them. I'll knit you something to keep you dry. The birds were delighted, but as the rain poured down, the knitted umbrella sagged. We know who would really love your knitting, Annie, the bird said. The animals on the African plains get chilly at night. So Annie knitted herself a sail for a little wooden boat, and she sailed across the sea. She trekked up and down the dunes, and at last, she arrived on the plains. I've come to knit you some lovely warm clothes to keep you snug at night, she told the animals. She knitted long, stripy scarves for the giraffes, an enormous, snazzy sweater for the elephant, and a huge hat for the big cat. But when the sun came up, the animals found the clothes too hot. Our friends at the North Pole would love your knitting, Annie. It's cold all the time there, they said. So Annie knitted herself a parachute and glided over the mountains. She skidded over the icebergs and bumped into a polar bear's shivering bottom. The Arctic animals huddled round. I've come to knit you wonderful and warm things, Annie explained to them. She knitted polka dot pullovers for the penguins, a pair of dazzling diamond patterned pajamas for the polar bear, and a wonderful woolly waistcoat for the walrus. Thank you, Annie. What cozy and colorful gifts, they said. Now we will be snug all the time. Annie was pleased that at last she had found some animals who really needed her knitting. But she had run out of yarn and she missed her treehouse and the other owls. 
so she decided to fly all the way home. Hoot, hoot, hooray! Annie's home, the owls cried. We missed you so much, Annie, that we started wearing your nifty knitwear. Annie was happy to be home and delighted to know her friends now loved her gifts. Annie, Annie, they cried, please teach us to knit too. So Annie did, and that very afternoon, as they all knitted happily together, she told them about her travels and the amazing animals that she had met all around the world. Well, that is the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed it. I did too. And just getting to see Annie go to different places and meet new animals and experience new things. I wish the same for you guys, that you will be able to travel and have fun and enjoy this beautiful planet. And this page is a little bit about our author, Holly Clifton Brown is an illustrator living in Bristol, England. Annie Hoot and the Knitting Extravaganza is her first picture book 